No, no, I started French when I was 14. Okay. And I've been to France a lot. Cool. Hi everyone, Roger Ravagé today with Adam from Shout Out Loud. How are you doing, man? Good, how are you? I'm doing great. I think for the first time you really forged a sound with that album. Oh yeah, people kept, kept saying that, yeah. Yeah? You don't found it or? Well, uh, you know what, I, I think uh, as soon as we stepped into the rehearsal space when almost 10 years ago, I think that's where we got formed. But I think I can agree a little bit now now when we have uh, tried different things that we like. And, and I think why people think like this, perhaps on this one, is because it's just us five and it's sort of more relaxed recording, I think, so that we didn't think too much and just play it, and maybe that's why. You got the lyrics and you work a little bit on the album in Australia, yeah. you guys from Stockholm, and you record in Seattle. Yeah. How does a city improve or affect the writing of the song or the vibe? I think not, not much the city, it's more, uh, well, it depends if you're the city is very, very different from each other, I would say, if there's, you know, the people and the language. It's, it's more of the way I feel when I'm away from someone, or away from the city, away from Stockholm. So I think being isolated from that whole music scene back home, and being Australia really far away, and, and also be in Seattle recording, mm -hmm. sort of maybe more relaxed, and got perspective, and, and, um, and I thought about things, and you know, the band, and how we were. No, it's got to stop. Sit with a member of a The studio was in an old stable that they yeah. built in the 70s. So it's, um, it's really a really nice environment with a lake, a river outside. It's yeah. Lake. Is it the place that we see in the mu the music video works yeah, at yeah. the beginning? Yeah. Oh, it's pretty inspiring, man. It's very nice. So, uh, you know, Lionel Richie used to record there. So yeah. <laughs> so it's a great studio. <laughs> nice. But, um, no, I think it's more of, of um, personal things. The city can play a role sometimes, but it's more of being away from somewhere or being home or that sort of state of mind. You are one of the band that makes awesome video all the time, music video. You got two for the new album and it's out for like two months. Yeah, and I just uh, got it video sent to me yesterday. Uh, the ba our bass player is now with us on this tour. He's home uh, with his girlfriend now having a, having a baby. Any minute now. So, oh yeah? So we have a friend that covered him for him and so he's home doing a video. We actually, it was recorded underwater in Stockholm so it was underwater video. So he sent it yesterday and it looked really nice. So. And it's for which, which song? Uh, show me something. Are you afraid of uh, getting on TV? Live performance? No, I, I love that. I think Ted wanted to capture sort of the bizarre world you're in when, when you work, especially when you're in a country you don't understand the yeah. language. And if you're in France or Italy doing shows and you know, you're just preparing about you know, 15 hours to do three minutes. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the live show. As I say, uh, personally, I found that the new album is a little bit different than the other. Mm -hmm. So I'm asking myself, in, do you have some problem when you do the setlist for that tour? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's easier, it's more fun, but it's harder. Probably. Uh, we can fight about setlists for hate to me, but now we have a setlist that really works well. Okay. It's, it's, you know, it's great to see a three album that you're really proud of and you want to play live. And some songs are, you know, popular in different countries mm -hmm. and you forget about that because we didn't really know it. After a while people shout from the audience and it's like, oh yeah, we have that out here. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, all this kind of thing. So we try to mix it up. Um, and uh, But the set list we're doing now is perfect. Yeah, and you mix all the album? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah. I need a pencil. Last time I see you, you play for about 50 or 55 minutes. And I see you after the show and you told me, yeah, it's because we only have two albums, man. Now do you, you get it uh, set a little bit longer? Yeah, we're doing 57 now. Our last tour manager uh, called 55 Minutes, the Swedish Hour. Because we only told you, oh, we, play, we play one hour, and said, no, no, 55 Minutes. 
No, we play, we play more than absolutely more than an hour now. Cool. Um, um, in the beginning, it depends. You know, it, it's hard to to have a show for you know an hour and a half. You know, I uh, you know I would like to just go out there and play twenty minutes and yeah. just sort of crash the stage. You know? Hey, thank you very much, Adam. You're <laughs>